his honor, the mayor, his staff, his kids. First time I ever saw Sparks fly from jam. His honor premieres Thursday on NBC. Hello, Larry.
lost track of time and shrunk our jeans. Things are better than they were last year. Maybe it's because the men are here. There's more activity and more motivation. We're really getting a co-education. I'll bring him home at the end of the quarter. Gotta go now, your loving daughter. Once upon a time, in a very nice city, in a very nice house, there lived a very nice man and a very nice woman. They were married to each other and they loved each other very much. They not only loved each other, they also liked each other. How about that? But they had a problem. Even though they loved each other and liked each other and had good jobs, they sometimes were not very happy. They envied each other. They each thought the other one had a more interesting life and they wished they could change places with each other. And they said that. Unfortunately, they said it in front of a statue that had a magic spell. And lo and behold, his spirit and personality went into her body and hers went into his. And that's the way they are today. Will they live happier ever after? Well, let's see.
Susan Anton. This evening are Billy Crystal, Bill Conti, and the Walter Painter Dancers. From Television City in Hollywood, it's the Mary Tyler Moore Hour with Mary's special guest, Dick Van Dyke. trial lawyer, a famous crime reporter for the New York Times, and Boston's world-renowned defense attorney, will match wits on television's first mystery game, Who Done It? Starring Vic Tabak in tonight's mystery, A High Price for Oil. and build inserts from practically every place else. NBC presents Real People. We'll see what boys and girls today are doing in parked cars. You'll see a bunch of people who are really up the creek without a paddle. We'll meet the new John Travolta of the disco set, who happens to be 67 years old. You'll hear the Turkey Tabernacle Choir. We'll discover how even the oil situation can put on some happy faces. We'll learn where to enroll in a course for a career in panhandling. Jimmy Breslin will train his sights on another deserving target. And Mark Russell pursues the endless search for real people in Washington, D.C. All this and a lot more on Real People. But now, here are the Real People people, our hosts. John Barber, Skip Stevenson, Bill Rafferty, and now. Seeking to flex its flabby biceps, NBC presents Real People, which courageously honors those unique individuals among us. Sunday, join that wonderful world of laughter and love that America has taken to its heart. Because sometimes the nicest moments are those you spend with friends. The Chisholms, the frontier family of the West, plagued by hardship in their home of West Virginia, they begin their cross-country journey to California, starring Robert Preston as the hard-drinking... You're not the reptile. ...Bible-quoting leader of his clan, and Rosemary Harris... I know what's back there. ...who leaves all she's ever known... I don't know what's ahead. ...for a future of uncertainty. Ben Murphy is the grieving Will, whose young wife died while bearing his son. And Stacy Nelkin is the lusty Body Sue... A young girl with the passions of a woman. The Chisholms, forging the pathway to the American West.
is the Duke. They caught up with me, Duke. A hard-hitting prize fighter turned hard-hitting detective. Hey, you bring me Sam Jones, and I give you your life. The Duke, following different strokes. Hello, Larry and the Rockford Files, Friday on NBC.
with the law since the day they was born. Straightening the curve, planting the hill. Someday the mountain might get them, but the law never will. Making their way. Once upon a time, a junk man had a dream. I want to build a spaceship, go to the moon, salvage all the junk that's up there, bring it back, sell it. So he put together a team, an ex-astronaut, <laughs> a fuel expert. They built a rocket ship, and they went to the moon. Who knows what they'll do next?